dear friends <clears throat> today we are going to talk about a specific component of teacher education for sustainable development education that is the module on research and development and professional development of teachers today we will talk about the scope of research in education for sustainable development goals as we know educational research for sustainable development goals is of multidisciplinary nature and it covers various areas of educational research the first area is on lifelong learning open learning and continuing education second area is on population studies demographic studies and population education third is on gender disparity and women studies women empowerment and women education the fourth one is the core of sustainable development goal that is environmental studies and environmental education research fourth one is about the plurality multiplicity indigenousity ethnicity and tribal education the fifth one is covering the basic principles of inclusion and inclusive society promoting inclusive education and the fifth one the <clears throat> next one is peace education and research on education for peace and last one is ICT integrated education promoting innovations and innovative approaches by interlinking technology competencies information communication technology in teacher education and school education system now we will talk about one by one what is the scope of research in each of these areas the first is the scope of research on lifelong learning as you know lifelong learning has different competencies so we will have to conduct research on competencies of lifelong learning self managed competencies learning to learn competencies initiative and entrepreneurship competencies information acquisition competencies digital competencies and last one is making decision competencies so lifelong learning is linked with these areas of competencies and research will have to focus on different uh, questions related to development of these competencies through lifelong learning education programs the research area on lifelong learning and open learning system is very broad in nature because it covers the en- entire out school and outside institutions approach which is of continuous in nature the research area it gives emphasis on the comparative status of initiatives made at different levels for promotion of lifelong learning the institutional studies must focus on planning and implementation of different program so research should facilitate the planning and implementation programs so educational research must be linked with planning and development exercises third one is the trend extrapolation studies that what has happened on the area of lifelong learning in our country 
in our global level in last few decades. Fourth area is exploratory studies to be conducted on needs, expectations, motivations and aspirations of out school students, the students who have completed formal education and people who are working in different jobs and occupying different positions in its professions. Studies must be conducted on teaching, learning and other curricular inputs which are part and parcel of lifelong learning. The stakeholders' participation, the teachers, administrators, uh, students and community members, how they participate in curriculum design, planning and implementation of courses, that should be also conducted in research study. Participatory research studies should be conducted employing qualitative methods and procedures. Evaluation research should be conducted for examining how different programs and schemes which were being launched at national and at international level and to study their effectiveness and the future. The quality assurance measures adopted at institutional level that should be also covered in the researches on lifelong learning, open and distance education system. The last is the conducting intervention studies that developing curricula, developing different institutional level interventions, programs, and to see that how these programs are developed, maintained, implemented, and have achieved the goals and its effectiveness have been established. So, dear friends, you can incorporate these questions and these areas if you are interested in conducting studies on lifelong learning from the perspective of sustainable development goals. These studies can be at institutional level, at regional level, at national level and international level. Second area is the scope of research on women's studies and women's education. As we know, the gender disparity is a major problem all over the world and in every society. Education for women's empowerment has been given prime importance in sustainable development education. So, the research should focus on women empowerment practices through institutional endowments. And the second component is emancipation takes place through educational and research interventions in different institutional practices for women's development. Now, what are the research issues on women's education? The first issue here is related to a developing our understanding and our knowledge base about inequality existing in the society that is on the basis of gender and the factors associated with such inequality are to be explored in different contexts. The second part here is the issues concerning the access of girls' children to education in general and particularly for quality education in specific. And the third part is related to the law and justice. How social justice is practiced, especially the general justice in every society, giving emphasis on gender equality. So, gender discrimination studies must be linked with research in education, inside educational institutions, and outside education institutions. So we must understand the role of women's education in sustainable development goals in the context of eradication of poverty and 
capability development programs of different families in developing societies like ours. The fifth one is the women play a major role for the sustainability of environment. They are part and parcel of nature. So how women's interaction with conservation of environment takes place in different contexts and different women's movements like Chipko, Narmada Bachao Andola and different interventions taken place for environment survival need to be studied in the context of education of women and their leaders. The scope of research on population education. You know, population studies is very much significant in the context of sustainability. The new framework of population education has focused on study of population and sustainable development. How population growth and migration of population affect imbalances in development and contributes to unsustainability. So we will have to study in this context that what is the population structure and how it is linked with sustainability. Second part is the gender equity and emphasis on women empowerment. This is to be covered in research as I said now itself. Third part is adolescence education or sex education, understanding each other, the biological concepts, sociological concepts, cultural concepts, technological concepts, health and hygiene concepts linked with adolescence education, starting from school level up to higher level. Now we are talking about the concept of happy life and the well-being of human life. So the well-being concept is to be integrated with population education study. The health education and cleanliness drive, health and hygiene, is to be part and parcel of population research study in formal and informal education and at community level also. So what is the scope of education in formal school for development of awareness, knowledge and attitudes towards population growth, population in relation to sustainable development? Second part is demographic factors, demographic factors associated with population growth, population distribution, disparities in education of population and its concentration, migration and urbanizations and people's living standards. Research on adolescent education concerning development of knowledge awareness and values of healthy and quality life leading to well-being of people. The fourth part is on the life skills interventions for healthy life among youth, particularly among adolescent girls. The fifth one is awareness and attitude of students towards different contagious diseases like HIV, AIDS, and towards different pandemics. Now, the teacher education programs on population studies, that should be also incorporated in the whole of research. The fourth part of research is the core of sustainable development goals, that is, environment education. We study environment as a different identity, but environmental research and environmental education should be seen as a multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary endeavor. So in this context, environmental education and sustainable development is must promote intervention research 
in environmental education intending to establish the causal relationship between different strategies of instruction and the learning outcome of education for sustainable development. Different practices, different strategies that has been adopted for development of environmental awareness and interventions for sustainability of environment, the factors associated with success of different programs achieving the goals of environmental education must be studied. The second part is to promote research for furthering the scope for study. The effect of different collaborative projects taking place at school level and community level, taking place at national level and global level for attainable attainment of sustainable development goals in the context of environment. Now, let us see what are the curriculum researches which are needed to be conducted by teachers and the researchers like you people that the curriculum research in environmental education must be promoted at school level, at institutional level with context-specific methodology giving emphasis on indigenous practices of teaching and learning for development of relevant skills and values on environmental protection. Next area here is that what should be the teacher's researches on the environmental sustainability and environmental education. There are two areas which is to be linked, are to be linked with environmental education study. One is for professional development of teachers concerning environment education. Another is development of environmental education practices as an integral component of teacher preparation and promoting environmental facilities for development of teachers' competencies. So, development of relevant competencies among teachers and learners for sustainable development, that should be the motto of research on environment. Development of leadership in collaborative environment education projects for empowerment of community members outside the school system and its impact on sustainable development. That should be given pride. Then intervention researches should be conducted for planning and implementing different projects on environmental education. So, dear friends, we will have to consider the ethnicity and the tribal studies in the context of research on sustainable development. The first kind of studies on ethnicity and tribal education should be of theoretical in nature. It will have to be linked with curriculum studies on tribal development and ethnicity. Then educational research should be also linked with evaluation of various programs being conducted for tribal development and developmental programs at community level. Fourth is, the research should be conducted on teachers' competencies to handle the problems of ethnicity and to be learner-friendly in tribal education setup. The next is, the professional development practices in teachers and teacher education institutions that must be covered in research. Next part is that how research should be geared to empower the tribal groups, the community leaders, the parents and stakeholders for development of tribal education. Next point is the participatory research programs to be incorporated as a part of qualitative research so that active involvement of parents, the community leaders, tribal groups, the women, the children and different social service organizations, civic bodies, their contributions for tribal 
welfare must be studied. Different areas are to be seen in the context of research of inclusive education. What are these areas? Inclusive education is a broad concept and it covers each and every dimension of learning and learners. So it is an indicator of sustainable development. So we must focus through research on theoretical explanation of what is inclusive nature, what are different factors associated with social inclusiveness and inclusive learning system, and what are the inclusive education practices going on in different institutions, starting from pre-primary stage up to higher stage, as well as in lifelong learning system, must be explored through research. And participatory qualitative research paradigms should be also incorporated as a means and practice of inclusive education. The teacher development studies on inclusive education should be also conducted more extensively covering every stage of education starting from nursery teacher training up to orientation and refresher courses programs meant for higher education teachers. The program evaluation studies should be adapted for identifying the success of different projects which are being conducted for inclusive education at formal and non-formal stage. The last very, very significant point here is that the social component of sustainable development is linked with peace and harmony. So, the efforts which are being made at local level, regional level, national level, and global level for peace education must be studied with a sound theoretical explanation. The theoretical study on relationship of peace education with other areas of education as reflected in sustainable development goals must be the focus of research on education for peace. The empirical studies on different practices leading to resolving the structural conflicts at local level, structural conflicts existing at regional level, national and global level, they need to be explored through research studies. The third area of research in peace education is conducting comparative studies to study the different peaceful movements like Gandhian movements, like the movements took place by <coughs> Martin Luther King II in United States, the Nelson Mandela. So these movements which were conducted by the leaders and to establish the freedom and equanimity and justice that is to be studied. The peace studies must explore the role of government, non-government and civil society organizations in promotion of peace as a multidisciplinary and pluralistic approach in research. Peace education studies may focus on exploring knowledge, awareness, socio-cultural values and attitudes of students, parents, community members, teachers and other groups of education functionaries. So, we must conduct researches on curriculum studies on peace education. We must conduct studies on curricular and co-curricular practices integrated with curricular design for suitable pedagogic practices and integrating with pedagogic principles for peace education. Research is to be encouraged to empower community members, intervention studies for nonviolence and peace at community level. 
the school community interface and how it works, the process dimensions need to be explained through the researches on peace education. Now we are talking about the last part that is the futures of education for sustainable development linked with information and communi communication technology in the context of education for sustainable development. As we know, the skills to learn, the skills to develop knowledge, construct knowledge is very much linked with technology support and integrating our indigenous technology with the modern technology. How information and communication technology is to be linked with different sources of learning in conventional education system that is focused in research on ICT. The ICT integrated educational program development studies should be conducted by researchers in school education and teacher education level. The effectiveness of ICT enabled blended learning programs as being exercised through different approaches like SWAM, like MOOC and blended learning packages developed by UNESCO and the packages developed by open university and distance education institutions must be studied. And studies on beneficiaries of ICT programs must be conducted. The institutional study on quality enhancement of ICT integrated programs must focus on development of quality softwares for teacher development and management of information com communication technology integrated learning. The second part of research on ICT must be linked with application of pedagogic principles for development and tryout of ICT integrated learning practices. So dear friends, these are different areas which have been highlighted for research by teachers and teacher educators in the context of research in education and research in the area of education for sustainable development. You can study exhaustively the research literature on these areas with key focus on achievement of sustainable development goals. Thank you very much.